Uh, Joe, uh, Harden was asked tonight about, uh, you know, what was the difference, you know, tonight in a game when you got out rebounded that this is the first one you got out rebounded and still were able to win. And he said, made shots. And have you seen, you know, this was a high number of threes for the season. Have you seen that aspect of the game coming around, not only for the whole team, but for yourself uh, too lately? Yeah. I I mean, we, we always put an emphasis on, um, you know, shooting threes, you know, we're like a lot of teams in this league right now. I think we play, uh, better, the more threes that we take, it just opens up, uh, the floor for really for everybody. Um, and then obviously, you know, when you're making shots and shooting at a more efficient clip, you know, you, uh, some of the turnovers and rebounding margins, you know, are maybe less significant, but it still doesn't, uh, negate the fact that we, we have to get better in those areas because when you're not shooting well, that's when it becomes problematic and you lose games. Joe, we had uh, spoken this morning about, you know, what's been different defensively. And you said it's mostly an effort thing, right? Given second efforts on the same play, that third quarter where you guys held them to 20 points. Uh, was that kind of an embodiment of just extra effort defensively? And what did you see working in that quarter? Yeah, I think it's just uh, having a, a good understanding of the game plan, knowing the personnel, and then just having a continuous effort. So tonight, you know, they're an excellent offensive team. They really spread teams out. A lot of guys that can spray, uh, space the floor, knock down shots, but then can also put it on the deck. So it was one of those games where, you know, it's a, a lot of uh, sort of guarding your yard, individual um, ownership, just to, you know, make things tough on them, but then also just having help too. So that's an effort thing. It's like how, knowing that that low man is going to, is going to be there for you and then scrambling out of it, which we've just done a lot better job here as of late. Hey, Joe, uh, make or miss. What did you feel about the kind of flow of the offense and the spacing and that kind of thing tonight? Um, you know, it was definitely um, a game where we knew coming into it that they're a heavy shift team. They load up a lot in the paint. And uh, a lot of times it's just making simple, uh, simple play out of it. Uh, simple pass. You know, when James would get downhill, uh, two defenders would collapse, easy kick out to the high quad. And then it's sort of just a read and react scenario from there. So we, you know, we were able to get into a lot of uh, positions like that tonight where, you know, guys were getting into the paint, defenders are collapsing. And then it's just all about making the, the right play from there. And, um, you know, when guys are giving up uh, a contested look for an open one, you know, you obviously shooting is sort of contagious. Once one gets guy gets going, everybody else starts to get going a little bit. Joe, you know, it just seems like Lamarcus has become extremely reliable for you guys, especially the start of the season. Given his layoff and everything, just what, what have you seen from him, get, you know, with his sudden retirement in April and then, then this hot start he's had? Uh, yeah, I mean, even uh, when he was with us last year, you know, he's just a formidable presence. Uh, he's done a really good job defensively for us too. You know, obviously, you know, a lot of the talk is about him and what he does offensively. And he's always been excellent. Um, you know, you know that you can get it to him in the post and he's going to make a play, but he's a smart player. He, uh, you know, he, he makes the right reads like a lot of the guys that we have on this roster where, you know, if he doesn't have uh, a look that he likes, you know, he's getting off it, getting other guys involved, but he's, he's very difficult to stop um, in the paint. And then defensively, he's been really good for us, especially in some of the different um, drop defenses that we've been playing where, you know, he just doesn't, doesn't let anybody get behind him. And then his length uh, and size really bothers a lot of the guards that are trying to come in and finish in the paint. Joe, James had said earlier this season that his confidence level wasn't as high as he would like it, given everything he had to go through with the hamstring and all that. Are you sensing at all his confidence starting to rise as the season is going on? Yeah, I think it's one of those things just early in the year. Um, you know, the rhythm, once it starts clicking uh, just collectively, it makes things easier for everybody individually. Um you know, it's, it's definitely a thing too, though, where it's, it, it takes a little bit of time. You know, we, we have a core group or core few guys from last year, but we have a lot of new guys on this roster. And so, um, sometimes, you know, when you have a lot of new players, you have a tendency, especially somebody like James, where he wants to get everybody involved, make sure that, you know, he gets certain people going. And I think, you know, a lot of, uh, his confidence comes from, from him just being aggressive. And the game really just opens up when he's thinking in the, with an aggressive mindset versus, you know, trying to get, you know, everybody a touch or this or that. And when he just goes out, 
is, you know, down, getting downhill, making guys collapse on him, um, you know, getting into some of his step back, some of his ISOs, he makes it uh, really difficult to guard because then it becomes uh, so difficult for people to predetermine or read what, what he's doing. Defensively, I mean, last year, the team that ended the season, obviously, where you had basically a center, you had Blake and Nick and Jeff Green. Yeah. You guys were switching everything. Um, have you guys gone more, a little bit more drop coverage this year? And is that just kind of because of the roster and because you have a guy like LaMarcus? Yeah, I think a lot of it is geared around personnel. So, you know, when you don't have bigs that are necessarily spacing the floor, and screening and popping as much there, especially tonight. So, you know, John Collins can obviously space the floor, knock down shots, Clint Capella, not as much. He's more of just a, a rim threat, really trying to set screens, get out of them quick. So tonight it was definitely more of a drop game where, you know, the bigs uh, are, are, are not trying to allow, allow the bigs to get behind them out of any sort of screen situation. And then just having constant pursuit from the guards, um, you know, Trey's pretty good at getting in probing and trying to make plays that way. So we knew coming into that was probably what it was going to be, but it varies game by game. So it's all really dependent on the personnel, but we have the capability of playing, um, switching everything, you know, a 55 defense where we're uh, guys are stepping out and we have confidence in LaMarcus even too, to go out and guard guys. Obviously he probably, you know, is better in the drop situation, but um, you know, him and Blake are both capable defenders on the perimeter. Joseph, how you doing, Joe? good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Where Where do your shots come from in this offense? Um, I mean, a lot of my shots are just created from you know guys facilitating. Uh, a lot of the actions that I get those from you know me just playing with pace. You know, running up, slipping out of screen. Sometimes I set them. Sometimes the you know I was talking with Cordover about it earlier today. Sometimes the easiest shots that you get is when you're you're a screener. You know, guys. There was a couple of instances tonight where, you know, I'm setting pin downs for Kevin and then Kevin just makes the right read where, you know, two guys collapse on him. I have wide open three. So a lot of it is, uh, you know, me really uh, playing off of other guys, but, um, you know, that's sort of been, uh, you know, that's been my, uh, the way that I've played really my whole career, to be honest. Um, and it's just, you know, sometimes initiating uh, action with your pace, screen, being a good screener, that allows guys uh, to get good, good, clean looks. Was there, was there a time that you could hear where the Nets were running a bunch of um, Yeah, I mean, there, there are times when there are drops for me, certainly. Um, you know, guys would make fun of me last season because a lot of the first plays were, were drawn up for me. And, um, you know, that, that varies here and there, but it's, it's really just predicated, again, on, on personnel. Um, so something like tonight, uh, you know, we anticipated Trey would probably match up with me and, you know, you, you want to make, try and get guys like him involved, um, defensively, you know, you want to, he, he poses so many problems on the offensive end that you don't want him to relax and have possessions off defensively. So you want to put him in action, make him work that way. Maybe he's not as, uh, much of a threat when he comes down the offensive end. Mm -hmm. 